Dr. Mohammad Halab, General Manager of Giza Tech from Egypt. Welcome.
throughout the season, which would lead to the optimum yield in the quality and quantity. The main purpose should be to produce food for high quality that contributes mainly to improve human health and immunity. So with, we are actually here inviting all the professionals to reboot the new aim of fertilization program to be for human health. Having yield only as our goal, that's not going to be enough for the coming time. Factors to consider in designing a balanced fertilization program. I don't know if you think uh, how many of my presentations are uh, regular. You can see it. it's, uh, it's not showing in the correct way. Okay. Uh, crop variety and expected yield, soil salinity and nutrient level, water quality and availability, water condition, availability of eco friendly fertilizers and potential disease that might actually affect our crop. All are very important factors that we need to consider when designing a balanced fertilization program. The crop, the actually soils in China varies a lot from north to east, from north to, uh, uh, to south and from east to west. As you all know, the, the more you go to the south and east, soil gets acidic in China, where at the north and west it is more alkaline. That is a very important factor to have when we are designing our fertilization program. The importance of soil testing is, uh, is, is crucial for China to be able to actually choose the correct fertilizer that suits your soil and ensure it's not going to do uh, get lost easily or and be non-effective or it's not going to cause any toxicity to your plant. Soil amendments uh, is a very good uh, choice that we need to consider in several areas in, uh, in China, especially after depletion of nutrients. And improves uh, the soil amendments in general. We should make sure it improves soil physical, chemical, and biological fertility, reduces the use of chemical fertilizers, and may cover plant needs of several nutrients. Realize soil nutrition and balance, supply plant with nutrients, and ensure sustainable availability to plants throughout the season. Balanced fertilization program should be designed by professionals. Professionals not only based on the crop variety, expected yield, soil fertility, water quality, but also based on forecasted weather condition and possible disease or pests that might affect the crop. Choosing the right type of fertilizers are the main reason to ensure the success of the fertilization program in covering plant nutrients in a balanced way. Why should we go for eco-friendly fertilizer? Fertilizers actually, if it is not eco-friendly, it may cause denitrification, nutrients, volatilization, fixation, or leaching, and also nutrient interaction, which result in unbalanced nutrition, even we have initially started with a balanced fertilization program. Uh, as you can see here, the right-hand side is, uh, and maybe roots is not showing a lot, but uh, roots are, uh, are, uh, are not growing well in the right-hand side as we are using urea and chemical fertilizer because it have actually uh, destroyed the microfauna not allowing the plant to interact with, uh, with the environment and being able to absorb phosphorus and other nutrients. While in the left hand side when we start to use more eco-friendly fertilizers, roots are better, the plant is able to 
uh, absorbator and, and, and roots are, uh, uh, are uh, phosphorus is more available than other micronutrients as well. Eco-friendly fertilizers are fertilizers that when applied more than needed would not cause any hidden toxic effect on the plant or soil or any negative nutrient interaction that means the environment would resist the mistakenly excess of it. Lots of professionals, when they add a uh, fertilization program, they have uh, expected yield, possibly more than what the, the actually uh, the crop can get, which result in having more fertilizer. Itself is a cause of toxin that reduces the, uh, the productivity more than, uh, more than we expect. Uh, here, several research proves that uh, nitrate, that access of nitrate is always might cause a problem in, in, uh, in the plant. Benefits of eco-friendly fertilizers. Using eco-friendly fertilizers would result in a much more nutrient balance than is much closer to the originally planned balance and fertilization program. So, actually, we have tried this uh, several times. When you use chemical fertilizer, in the in the in the documents you have planned for, we designed a special balance for that crop to give you the maximum productivity. But what happened, some of these nutrients get fixed, bleached, evaporated, end up that the balance that reach to the plant is much different than what we have originally planned. Unlike when using eco-friendly fertilizer, you get a balance that is much closer to what you have planned, which actually improves plant resistance to disease and immunity. Problem. Benefits of eco-friendly fertilizers. Eco-friendly fertilizers are resisting the soil condition with high efficacy when applied less than needed. Will not easily get lost in air, fix it in soil or nature. That's also uh, another uh, very important uh, reason to use eco-friendly fertilizer because if you mistakenly apply less than what the plant needs, the crop will only get less of the amount you have missed. While if you use chemical or other uh, not, not eco friendly fertilizer, a lot of what you are using might get lost, and the efficacy at the end uh, is much lower, and reduction in crop is much lower. As you can see here on the left hand side, with using eco friendly fertilizer, the uh, roots are much growing much better than in the right hand side. The favorite fertilizer, which is uh, known to be uh, the main uh, push and focus of EZTEC research, is economical eco friendly fertilizer used for sustainable improvement of soil fertility and based on balanced supply of plant nutrients to produce optimized quality food that improves human health. The favorite fertilizer optimizes yield quality, maximizes nutrients and fertilizer use efficiency, enhances nutrients uptake, redistribution and utilization efficiency, develops plants in and tolerance towards stressful condition helps in balancing plant physiological mechanisms. Balanced fertilization programs would not easily lead to balanced plant nutrition without using eco-friendly fertilizer. This is a very important sentence. Benefits of balanced fertilization program improve plant growth, enhance crop quality, Increase plant resistance to environmental stress, improve health and immunity, higher quality food for humans, and higher quality feed for animals. In 
prevalence of balance and fertilization on food quality, indirectly by improving plant health, especially resistance to adverse climatic factors, seeds and pests, directly by increasing the content of essential and beneficial organic and mineral nutrients in food and fodder, negatively through their incorrect or imbalanced use or by the involuntary addition of toxic substances, which does not happen when using, using eco-friendly fertilizer. This is why we use eco-friendly fertilizer. One of the reasons. Aspects of food and food of quality. When we are actually right now measuring our food quality, we only look at the market value depending on easily recognizable external characteristics such as cleanliness and absence of decay, or also the content of uh, protein, sugar, uh, for processing industry, but we do not look for the amount of nutrients to supply us. Nutritional value is much more important comparison uh, like the, the taste, smell, uh, are difficult to recognize, while the content of many important organic and mineral nutritional constituents is easily to analyze, and also the absence of undesirable or even dangerous toxic substances is very important for our human health. Balance and fertilization for plant protection. If we have started with balance and fertilization program, our need for plant protection products are much less. And by itself, by itself this will improve our human health because uh, residuals of pesticides in our food would be, would be much less or not there at all. So better resistance to some insects, pests resulting from a good supply of potassium, for example, as a result of better mechanical protection and decrease in cell uh, constituent attractive to insects. This directly would, would, would reduce our consumption of pesticide. Better resistance to fungal attack results in it resulting from a good supply of oral. I've seen a lot of uh, this problem in China, a lot of, uh, uh, in, uh, of areas around uh, Shandong and north of uh, Shanghai are missing borrow. Farmers are actually either adding very less borrow and having borrow deficiency or have increased borrow and went to borrow toxicity. And this is a very good example of how important eco friendly fertilizer is. We should supply borrow fertilizer that is easy to use by farmers and not easy, uh, uh, not, not just any small mistake would take it a uh, really either toxic crop or deficient crop. Improved soil fertility also seems to result in soil fungi production, reducing a better supply of antibiotics which protect plants dramatically uh, against some bacterial disease. Before the advent of fertilizer, use the deficiency disease farm animals and humans were widespread, like that was probably more than 100 years ago, which have disappeared now, like all weaknesses due to the lake of uh, phosphorus. Now phosphorus and calcium is a lot in our food, which have uh, improved humanity health throughout the world. Vitamin deficiency due inadequate plant nutrition, disease increasing livestock due to deficiency copper and cobalt, for example. Furthermore, some virus and bacterial disease seem to have dimension in their in ineffective capacity as a result of improved nutrition. The considerable increase in human life expectancy must also be attributed in part, at least, of, to having more and better food streaming in turn from balance and fertilization. Iron deficiency in, uh, in, uh, in plant have actually contributed in lots of areas of the world in uh, deficiency in hemoglobin percent in human. So to improve the activity and hemoglobin percent in human, we have to go back to our plants and ensure iron availability. 
sustainable agriculture practices prioritize environmental and social responsibility in agriculture. This includes using eco-friendly fertilizer and other inputs, reducing waste and pollution, conserving resources and supporting local communities. Sustainable agriculture practices contribute to long-term food security, human health, and environmental sustainability. Human health and immunity are closely linked to the quality of food consumed. Balanced fertilization programs improve plant health and nutrition, leading to higher quality food for human and animals. High quality food contains essential nutrients such as zinc, vitamin C, which support human health and immunity. Conclusion. Balanced fertilization programs are essential for improving plant health and immunity, which lead to higher quality food for humans and animals. Choosing eco-friendly fertilizers and designing fertilization programs tailored to specific needs of crops and soil can help ensure balanced nutrient supply and environmental sustainability. Sustainable agriculture practices prioritize environmental and social responsibility in agriculture, contributing to long-term food security, human health, and environmental sustainability. The COVID-19 pandemic has taught us the critical importance of food quality and human health by prioritizing balanced fertilization programs and sustainable agriculture practices. We can ensure that our food supports human health and immunity, contributing to a healthier, more resilient future of all. Those are our research partners uh, from Egypt, Belgium, Spain, Canada and China. Thank you very much for your uh, attention. You can also, this is my WeChat ID, EasyTech. You are welcome to add me by just typing my ID, EasyTech. And uh, if you have any questions, you can send it off to uh, WeChat. Thank you very much. Jay Shay.